What do Margaret Tudor and Perkin Warbeck have in common? Well, both these drawings are circulating online as drawings done from life. But they are not contemporary at all. They are from Recuel Diaris, a collection of drawings by Jacques Le Bouc. Created around year 1570. Thus well after both of them died. However the drawings in Recuel Diaris are based upon real portraits from several royal collections. And if the portraits survived the century since, we can track them down and see that while Le Bouc simplified some details, his drawings are fairly accurate. Which is good news, because not all portraits survived, and we only have these drawings of them left. And sometimes almost entire royal collection is gone. For example early Scottish portraits, just few survive. Yet here you can still find the first recorded paintings by Maynard Wuick. They are based upon four portraits of English royals, delivered to Scotland in 1502. But why am I not showing you two of them? In Elizabeth's case, it's because her drawing imprinted upon the other page, and now it's not well visible on neither. Finding portrait of 11-year-old Henry VIII is a bit more complicated. But in my opinion it's Warbeck. No I didn't went crazy. Hear me out. The text labeling it as Warbeck looks nothing like Le Bouc's original labels. It's more modern text, added not by Le Bouc but by somebody else afterwards. Le Bouc didn't know who it is. So how could anybody later guess it is Warbeck, more than 70 years after he died? It's just three drawings away from Margaret Tudor, yet because of this non-contemporary label people think it's a man whose portrait she'd likely destroy as Queen of Scotland. And there is resemblance, not just with Margaret, but with Arthur too. And with Henry VII as well. Also this hat brooch appears in so many portraits of Henry VII and Henry VIII. Hence I believe this drawing depicts Henry VIII as 11-year-old boy. Not Perkin Warbeck. I have to also point out not all the original labels by Le Bouc are accurate. For example both these drawings are labelled as Beatrice of Coimbra, but the one on left shows outfit fashionable about 40 years after she died. Here we allegedly have two daughters of John III of Egmont. And while on right Jocene wears accurate Netherlandish outfit, on left Catherine wears outfit more suited to Iberian Peninsula or Italy, where she didn't live. If you would like to study Recuel Diaris on your own, Bibliothèque Municipale de Arras has kindly put entire thing online. Thank you for watching and see you next time.